I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome back to How to Paint Watercolours with me Colin. I've stretched the paper. This is 100% cotton rag paper and I'm just leaving a thin film of water on the paper. Dry your brush off, go around the edge to remove any excess water. This will help to stop any runbacks that may occur, but it's not really a great big problem because you'll be putting a mount round it and framing it. Just give it a quick dry. Okay, that will do. <coughs> and then we'll get straight in. This is yellow sulfy. I'm using Sinelia paints today. And I'll just put that in there. The board is laying flat, bringing it down nice and strong. This is a, a round brush, you can use a flat brush, any brush you feel comfortable with. If you haven't got yellow sofa, you could use Indian yellow, uh, CAD yellow light, CAD yellow medium. Into that, this is Sonelia orange. Or you can use cadmium orange, or you can make an orange that you like. And put that in, bringing them together. This is Sennelier orange and Sophie yellow with just a touch of burnt umber. Put that in there. This one is Sennelier orange, burnt umber with a touch of alizarin crimson. Round your sun, I have dried it off. Um, to try and minimize any runs into the sun and we can put a few streaks in different colors this will be a wet in wet sky but right this morning time it is too wet to put any other further colors in because they will just run everywhere and you can have a little bit of control I'm just strengthening it up in areas that I feel will need it and we'll be putting some wet in wet clouds once again <coughs> just go around the edge of your picture with your damp brush <coughs> excuse me removing any excess paint that's come over the sides and now we need to wait a little while well this just dries slightly as you can see there's a sheen on top of the water uh, sorry on top of the paper which is telling you that it's exceptionally wet so now we need this to dry off slightly till the paper dulls or that shine starts to disappear okay that's dried off a lot now I hope you can see that there's very very little shine on the paper but the paper is still damp and it's now ready to accept another colour so I'm just using a flat brush for this. This is just straightforward raw umber. I just want to put a bit in there. Just creating an interesting shape at the bottom. And I want to leave a, a sliver of yellow in the sky. Just to make things interesting. Bringing it down. So there's very little disturbance of the colour underneath. Maybe. Just bringing in some interesting clouds here. Just leaving some slivers of light. And with the paper being still damp the edges will soften off. To move into a darker mixture now. This is warm sepia and French ultramarine. Paint around your sun. So 
same time <clears throat> bring you one or two streaks of that colour in here Darken the corners here as well. Darkening the corners and the top edge will help to bring your eye <coughs> into the painting. Just strengthen it up in areas but uh, not everywhere. happy with that. Just want to take a little bit of paint off the sail there. As it's damp it will creep back. But not as bad. <coughs> then with the damp brush soften off these edges. Each time you softened off and lifted up some paint or move some paint about, re-wet your brush and remove the excess. Forgive my arm. Soften it off. Okay, before I start to fiddle, I think that will do. <clears throat> and now we're going to allow this to dry as well. Okay, now it's, this is basically dried. Um, I'm just going to run some clean water up to the horizon line. As we add paint to this, this will help to thin it out as we come further down the page. To about there, I think. And then into that. To get the right colour and then into that this is cobalt blue and burnt sienna mixed on the blue side as you can see just going to test its strength I'm just going to pull this through all the way up to the horizon line And now going on to the dry paper at the bottom, so this should be a little bit stronger and this will help to give you um, some depth of field in the water. Let's bring the two together. Slowly bringing it up, bringing them together, but you don't want it to go too far. So I want to leave that kind of like that and then also into this what I would like to do is drop some opera rose in here darker as it comes down as it mixes with the other paint leave a gap between your sun and the water so that it doesn't run into each other and I'm afraid once again <coughs> we will have to leave this to dry as well. Okay now that you, you see it's dry what we're going to do now is put um, a very thin wash of yellow Sophie and Snellia orange over the sea and then we leave that to dry. With a small flat brush now what we can do is just uh, we can bring in some waves very small ones at the back cobalt blue and burnt sienna just bring some in I'll just do a few <clears throat> and as we come forward to here we'll be making these waves bigger so you just carry on putting a few waves ripply waves nothing large 
it's just to give an indication of movement in the water moving to a bigger flat brush <clears throat> and this is a stronger mixture of the colour of cobalt blue and burnt sienna once again creating the movement keep reloading the brush slightly bigger as you come to the front once again back to your opera rose this is where we can put the bright patch of the sun in I want to very gently drop some of the warm sepia <coughs> and French ultramarine in very lightly I do want some of the uh, opera rose to show through we can paint our boat in with a mixture of warm sepia and French ultramarine paint the shape of your boat in indication of a couple of silhouetted figures just moving back to your dark grey mixture I just want to put the sail in here sort of a dark bluey grey cobalt blue and burnt sienna then for the mast what I want to do is bring it along the edge here and allow it to bleed into the grey the blue grey this is the warm sepia of French ultramarine because at this distance you wouldn't see the separation between the mast and the sail and I'm just going to re-wet underneath here but I'm just going to add uh, a bit of dark just to Add a little more interest, maybe a bit darker, I think. Just helps to interest things up. You know, if I'm going that far, I might as well put a mast in. So, this is just clean water, and I'm just going to drop, and I think that will do it. And now we really do have to wait for everything to completely dry and then we'll put the highlight on. Okay with some white gouache now that the painting's dried off we're going to put a few uh, highlights on, not too many. Just, uh, just a few on the sailboat. Just put a few on the ripples just to add a little bit of sparkle okay now you get to the best bit this is where you get to sign it mount it put a mount around it and frame it and I hope you enjoyed this video if you have please click the like button and subscribe remember subscription and subscribing should I say costs you nothing if you wish to have a, a look at some other painting videos I've made I will leave a link in the description box and that will take you straight to them so once again thank you very much for watching